Traditionally, most people think they don't need a colon cancer screening until they turned 50. But back in 2018, the American Cancer Society changed that recommendation, dropping it to the age of 45. Healthcare experts also say fewer people are getting recommended cancer screenings because of the pandemic. Joining me now to discuss those updated screening guidelines and the push to raise awareness about collectoral cancer is Dr. Peter Golly from U of Health. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. And can you tell us why is collectoral cancer screening different from many other screening tests? So colorectal cancer screening actually offers the uh, possibility of preventing cancer from developing in the first place. Most screening tests that we do are looking for early detection of cancers, but when it comes to uh, colorectal cancer screening, we look for polyps, which are precancerous, which can be removed and stop people from ever developing cancer. And why was the screening age lowered from 45, lowered to 45 for men and women? Yeah, that's a really important question. Uh, in the past, it used to be pretty unusual to find colorectal cancer in younger people. But over the years, we've noticed an increasing incidence of these cancers in, in people that are below the age of 50, such as such that today about 10 to 15 percent of the cancers we diagnose are in patients aged 45 to 50. So based on that, um, all the professional societies have come together and recommended lowering the age. And what are the symptoms and what do you do if you already have them? Yeah, I mean, ideally, don't wait for symptoms, because once the symptoms are there, it's already probably developed into a cancer. But we should never ignore things that are different. And so the important ones are going to be a change in your regular bowel habits. Uh, if you find blood in your stool, that uh, that is not usual for you. And if you have new abdominal pain that is persistent, doesn't seem to be getting better and is out of the ordinary, if you're losing weight, or if you feel that you're not emptying your bowels completely, these can all be early signs of colorectal cancer. And is there anything we can do to lower our risks of collectoral cancer? Yeah, so there are several risk factors, and some of them we can't really do much about, like family history, but there are several that are within our ability to affect. So we know that colorectal cancer is more common in people who have a less active lifestyle, have a little bit of weight gain, um, who have a diet that's low in vegetables and fiber or who smoke or drink. So all of these are things that you can do to lower that risk. And we've heard about colonoscopy, but what about tests like Cologuard? What's, what's the difference between those two? Yeah, I think the most important thing is that people get a test. Any test is better than no test. But we typically divide them into two categories, those that involve uh, going inside the body with a colonoscopy or a flexible sigmoidoscopy. And the main advantage of those is they allow you to handle polyps when you see them uh, in sort of a one-stop shop. Uh, the non-invasive tests like Col Cologuard or FIT testing base, um, base the test on a stool sample. Uh, and they're not quite as sensitive as a colonoscopy. Uh, and if positive, it tends to require a colonoscopy after to fix the problem. But either one, either uh, approach is better than no approach at all. All right. Well, this is all such wonderful information. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's a pleasure. Thank you.